Hello there, this is Comphonia. Today I'll be showing you how to get textures from Substance Painter. Um, with this box I currently have here, it has this, uh, it's mapped and the six faces are just out here. This can be useful if you're trying to map different faces, like add different textures to different faces. But what if you're just trying to get the materials, this nice materials from Substance Painter and try to use it somewhere else, like it's coming out like a texture like this flat flat 2d texture you can reuse in and creating different models you know all right so all you have to do with this it, it's not a, a hack or anything it's just a UV trick all you have to do is go to any of your 3d application create a box a cube actually then mine is set to 100 centimeters here create a box right in the middle uh, I'll just put a UV texture here. All right, so this is how we want it to be. This is just mapped out evenly and all the faces at once. What this actually looks like, it's it, it's an overlapping it's an overlapping UV. So this is what they look like in the UV editor. All the faces are just overlapping. So that's going to be useful. I'll convert this to editable poly, export Select it. I'll just name this UV cube. Right. I'll, I'll put a link to download this box in the description below in case you don't have it or you cannot create it. Okay, so here I'll just go to File, New Texture, discard this, import the mesh in. It's UV cube, import. Okay, you see we have just one flat box here. So if we decided to apply a material, let's say this tile here, it just comes in as one flat texture. Let's try a different texture here, something nice. Even smart materials, this is a way you could easily get smart materials as textures too. So walnut wood, uh, towel here. All right, steel. Alright, so that's looking good. Like, this is a texture I would want, and sometimes you might look for it online and you might not find it. So, this is what you could get. You could also rescale it here, but that seems a mess. I'll just leave it the way it is. You could always style it in your 3D application. So, it, that's exactly uh, what it is. And you could do file and export textures. I have a custom here, I think. Custom, just export in the diffuse map and the normals let's see so you yes yeah, so because usually textures from a uh, substance design is gonna come out like this or that's a this is a really bad example some just comes out like this and you cannot actually reuse the material because of the UV coordinates so with this I could get the diffuse texture put it on my box and Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think I have my gamma or loot either messed up in here. That's why it's looking weird. Preferences. Uh, I think so. Oh yeah, consistent colors. Realistic. Okay, yeah, so that's what it is. And you could export all the channels for it to look exactly like this. That's the uh, specular map, the roughness and metallic and all that stuff and just put in your 3D application. So that's really it. And you could, a good place to get more substance textures is the Substance Share. It's a free exchange platform. Just sign up and you could get uh, a whole lot of materials on here. Export and import it to your Substance Painter and put it under texture, put it under 3D model and export and that's it. In the next video, I'll probably show you how to actually get substance textures and use it with this free substance player. In case you don't have a substance uh, substance designer or, or you, you don't want to spend the time importing it into Substance Painter and exporting every time. So you could just put it in Substance Paint, Substance Player and preview it before exporting. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.